Are you tired of constantly being on an emotional roller coaster in your relationships? Do you find yourself getting overly attached or triggered by your partner's actions? Well, you're not alone. But guess what? There's a solution to help you take emotion out of your relationship and regain control. In this video, we're going to explore the reasons why emotions can get in the way of a healthy relationship and provide you with practical tips and strategies to help you manage your emotions and navigate your relationships with ease. So, if you're ready to take the first step towards a more stable and fulfilling relationship, then keep watching. Before we begin discussing the main topic for this video, it's crucial for us to understand the role of emotions in a relationship. Emotions play a crucial role in shaping our relationships. They can deepen our connections and bring us closer together, or they can drive a wedge between us and cause conflicts. Emotions can be positive, such as love, joy, and happiness, or negative, such as anger, jealousy, and sadness. When we experience positive emotions in a relationship, we feel more connected and fulfilled, and we are more likely to express our love and affection towards our partner. On the other hand, negative emotions can be destructive, and they can lead to conflicts, misunderstandings, and hurt feelings. It is important to recognize that emotions are a natural and necessary part of any relationship. They can help us understand our partner's needs and wants, and they can provide valuable feedback about how our actions are affecting them. However, it's also essential to recognize when our emotions are getting out of control and causing harm to ourselves or our relationship. To build healthy and fulfilling relationships, we need to learn how to manage our emotions effectively. But before that, we need to first identify common triggers that cause emotional reactions in a relationship. 1. Past trauma. This can have a significant impact on how we behave and feel in current relationships. Childhood experiences, past relationships, or traumatic events can trigger emotional reactions that are out of proportion to the current situation. It's important to recognize when past trauma is affecting your current relationship and to seek professional help if necessary. 2. Attachment style. Attachment styles are formed in childhood and can influence how we relate to our partners in adult relationships. There are four main attachment styles, secure, anxious, avoidant, and disorganized. Secure attachment is characterized by a healthy balance of intimacy and independence, while anxious attachment can result in clingy or needy behavior. Avoidant attachment can lead to a fear of intimacy and emotional expression, while disorganized attachment can result from traumatic experiences and can lead to conflicting behaviors. 3. Communication style. Communication breakdowns can cause emotional reactions in relationships. Poor communication can lead to misunderstandings, hurt feelings, and conflicts. 4. Expectations. Expectations play a significant role in how we experience emotions in relationships. Unmet expectations can trigger negative emotions like disappointment, frustration, or hurt, especially if we have high expectations for our partner's behavior or actions. 5. Triggers in the present. This can also have a significant impact on our emotional reactions in relationships. Current events or situations, such as forgetting a birthday or missing an important event, can trigger negative emotions like hurt, disappointment, or frustration. Now, let us jump straight into the main topic of this video, how do you take emotion out of a relationship? 1. Practice mindfulness. By cultivating mindfulness, you can become more aware of your emotional reactions and respond to them in a calm and rational way. Mindfulness can help you develop greater self-awareness, which can lead to more effective communication and healthier relationships. Mindfulness can be practiced in many different ways, such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or mindful movement practices like yoga or tai chi. When you practice mindfulness, you can learn to detach from your emotions and observe them without becoming overwhelmed by them. This allows you to respond to situations with greater clarity and calmness, rather than reacting impulsively or emotionally. 2. Develop healthy coping mechanisms. Another important way to take emotion out of a relationship is by developing healthy coping mechanisms. Coping mechanisms are strategies and activities that you can use to deal with difficult emotions in a constructive and healthy way. Developing healthy coping mechanisms can help you manage stress, anxiety, and other negative emotions that can arise in relationships. Some examples of healthy coping mechanisms include journaling, exercise, meditation, or talking to a trusted friend or therapist. Journaling can be an effective way to process your thoughts and feelings and gain greater insight into your emotional reactions. Exercise can help you release tension and reduce stress levels. Meditation can help you develop a greater sense of calmness and emotional stability, while talking to a trusted friend or therapist can provide you with support and guidance as you work through difficult emotions. 3. Communicate effectively. When communicating with your partner, it's important to express your needs and boundaries in a clear and respectful way, without getting overly emotional. Using I statements instead of blaming or accusing your partner can help you communicate assertively without being aggressive. For example, 
Saying I feel hurt when you don't show up on time is more constructive than saying you're always late. Inflammatory language can escalate conflicts and make it harder to resolve disagreements. Using respectful and constructive language that promotes understanding and cooperation is essential. Avoid name-calling or insults and focus on using language that is respectful, clear, and constructive. Active listening is also a crucial part of effective communication. When your partner is speaking, make sure to listen attentively without interrupting or becoming defensive. Try to understand their perspective and validate their feelings, even if you don't agree with them. Practicing empathy can also help you build a deeper connection with your partner and strengthen your relationship. Put yourself in their shoes and try to understand how they are feeling. 4. Learn to compromise. In any healthy relationship, disagreements and conflicts are inevitable. When these issues arise, it's essential to approach them with an open mind and a willingness to work together to find a mutually beneficial solution. Compromise involves giving and taking, and both partners should be willing to make concessions to reach a resolution that works for both of them. This can involve discussing various options and finding a compromise that meets both partners' needs. It's important to approach the negotiation process with empathy and understanding, and to avoid making unilateral decisions that may disregard your partner's perspective or needs. 5. Practice self-care. In order to maintain a healthy relationship, it's important to take care of yourself both physically and emotionally. This involves prioritizing your own needs and making time for activities that promote self-care. Self-care can take many forms, such as getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, engaging in physical activity, and pursuing hobbies and interests that bring you joy. It's also important to prioritize your emotional well-being by practicing self-compassion, setting boundaries, and seeking support when necessary. Setting boundaries is a crucial part of self-care, as it allows you to prioritize your own needs and protect yourself from negative influences. This can involve saying no to activities or commitments that don't align with your values or priorities, or setting limits on how much time and energy you spend on certain tasks or relationships. Practicing self-compassion is also essential for managing emotions in relationships. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness and understanding, even when you make mistakes or face challenges. By cultivating self-compassion, you can reduce stress, build resilience, and strengthen your emotional well-being. Remember that managing emotions in relationships requires effort and patience, and that it's okay to seek help from a therapist or counselor if necessary. With practice and dedication, you can create a relationship that is based on mutual respect, open communication, and a healthy balance of intimacy and independence. By taking the time to work on yourself and your relationship, you can develop the skills and resilience necessary to overcome challenges and build a long-lasting and meaningful connection with your partner. So, take the first step today and start building a healthier and more fulfilling relationship for the future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful content like this. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with your own experiences or tips for managing emotions in relationships. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.